Wine and strong beer could be sold in Oklahoma grocery and convenience stores if voters approve state question 792 in November. This week, in a forum sponsored by Oklahoma Watch, State Senator Stephanie Bice and Retail Liquor Association of Oklahoma President Brian Kerr discussed the proposed changes to Oklahoma's liquor laws. Here's some of that debate in this ONR Extra. State question 792 would bring wine and full strength beer into those types of store stores. You're a co-author of this bill, so please, Senator, explain why this change is good and how it would benefit the public as a whole. The benefit is most states are offering something similar to this. They're not, they don't have a two-tier system for beer, and they, many of them are offering wine um, as an option in, in grocery and convenience. So this was, was really the start of a conversation to figure out, you know, how could we make that happen? I will add, though, it's not just a alcohol issue. This is also an economic development issue. What we're talking about is a net loss to Oklahoma when we talk about 792. So for every brewery that will open, for every tourist that might come in and tour those breweries, for every uh, additional uh, freedom that winery get, a winery gets in Oklahoma, uh, you're closing down, you're, you're losing 10 jobs and closing down a liquor store or two liquor stores or five liquor stores. So the offset there just doesn't make any sense economically. A question for both of you, and maybe it's a quick answer, and that is, if a 792 passes, will consumption of alcohol increase in Oklahoma? There's no evidence to show that. Yes, there is evidence. Uh, it won't increase much, however. Uh, there have been numerous studies done uh, as alcohol is made available in more places that there is increased alcohol consumption. Uh, the problem is not so much with the increased alcohol consumption. The problem is the increased alcohol consumption amongst people who should not have it. There are concerns about the social costs of 792 or 791, any, any increasing access to, to beer, to strong beer and wine. Do you have any view on whether we're going to see any costs that need to be addressed? You can walk into a convenience store, apply as a 16-year-old, and start selling beer, and virtually uh, none of the independent grocery or convenience stores have any sort of formal training program on, on how to check for IDs, who you shouldn't sell to, when you should get a manager involved. So I think that we are trying to do our best to make sure that we are looking at those licensing provisions and those public safety issues very, very carefully. But the reality is this. It's reducing the age at which people will be selling stronger alcohol. It's plain and simple. And that's to 18. You can view the entire Oklahoma Watch Out Forum on State Question 792 on our website at www.oeta.tv slash ONR Extra.